Hello, this is the preventative maintenance call sheet video. To use your call sheet, just go up to maintenance and then when the drop down menu appears go down to call sheet and click on it. What we mean by call sheet is this will show you what services are ready to be performed and which ones have already been done. When the call sheet opens up, you'll see the default view is by equipment. So here we see here's my truck 101, and these are all the different services applied to that truck. Truck 102, truck 103, and if I scroll down, you'll see all my equipment, all my trucks, even my trailers here. This is broken down by equipment. It shows you the categories of services, when they were last serviced, how many miles since the last service, when they're due, how many miles until they're due, and whether they're okay or overdue for that service. I can also change this view from equipment to category. I get the same information, but now it's broken down by my service categories. So I've got bodywork for truck 108 and all the rest of my trailers. I've got electrical service for all of my trucks. Here are my oil changes tires for trucks and for trailers, windshield wipers for trucks. And again, you've got your last service date, the miles since the service, the due date, miles until due, and you can see here minus 678, so it was 10,000 miles it was supposed to be done after he's overdue under status. You're also seeing that I get this little pop-up when I move up here. That's because if I don't have a last service date, it's difficult for it to estimate when the next service date is due. So what it does is it does it the first time you use that vehicle for a load. So that is what the date is based on. All right? That's if you don't have a last actual. Then we have due date, so that's another view. I can look at it, what was due on April 7th, May 4th, May 20th, July 1st, July 6th, and so on. So these are all showing up as overdue because the month that I'm, that I'm recording this video is June, so anything before that, it's overdue. Anything in July is not yet due. You can also click on status. So you can group all your overdue items together and all your okay items. That might be a way you'll find the, the most useful, just so you can have a quick glance and see what needs to be done now. Let's go back to the default view and let's look at some searching. We can narrow down our results by selecting a particular category. So maybe all I want to see is tires. So I select my category tires for all equipment because I haven't selected a specific equipment type and again this is my view by equipment. If I want to change my view I can still do this even after just selecting tires so there's by category, by due date when certain tires were done so it looks like a few might be, uh, looks like this is the only one that's overdue the rest are due till next year and again these dates are based on the last actuals. Then we've got status, if I want to view it by status. Looks like the only one that's overdue for some tires is truck 101. And that's looking on just the category tires. I can also look on specific equipment. So maybe I want to know everything that's going on with truck 101. So now that's the only equipment type I've got. There are all his services and his statuses. Again, I can change my view. We can see he's overdue, that was due in May, it's due now, and these ones aren't due yet. Or the status, what's overdue. So it's the same information, just represented with different views. If I want to further refine, I can also select category and equipment. So maybe I want to look at tires, and I want to look at tires for trailer 101, and I can see that he's overdue. Again, you can change your view type, but when you're selecting specifically on one category and one equipment, it probably doesn't really make much difference which way you view it. If you want to refresh your screen, just click on Show All. Everything comes back up, again, to the default of equipment. If you want to export these results to an Excel spreadsheet, just click on the green X. It opens up an Excel spreadsheet. There's my call sheet with all the items on it. 
or I can print a PDF, click on the printer icon, and there we have a nice report. And this concludes the preventative maintenance call sheet video. Thank you.